Here's how to use animation software on your phone. On your iPhone or Android device, download an app called Stop Motion Studio. This time of the video shoot, there was both a free and a $5 version. Everything we're going to do here works great with the free version. Tech moves fast, and it's possible you're watching this video in a future without Stop Motion Studio. No worries. Just search for a stop motion app that runs on your phone. While we like this program, others will work great too. It's worth mentioning that if you want to do this entire course with an iPad, Stop Motion Studio works on them as well. There's also a version for your computer if you're using a digital camera or even your laptop camera to take the pictures. Note that if you're going to use an iPad or any tablet, you'll need a tablet tripod adapter instead of a phone adapter. And editing on a computer is beyond the scope of this course, but a great way to go. If you Google Stop Motion Studio for the Mac or for the PC, there are some great videos out there. Uh, let's get back to using this on your phone. Uh, but first, pause and download the app. And then let's get started with a short exercise. To save time, you're probably going to want to skip straight to animating your finished piece. But don't skip this. This exercise will take you about two minutes to do and likely save you 10 minutes when you jump into animating your real piece, as you'll have already worked through simple beginner mistakes like shooting in horizontal and not vertical mode, turning off auto rotation, or a dozen other newbie issues that come up. So please do this exercise first. It's quick, it's fun, trust me. The challenge here is to get a coin moving across the screen just so you can be comfortable with the app. Using a stop motion app isn't exactly rocket science, but apps change. If this video gets out of date, just look on YouTube for how to use stop motion studio. But because I'm super nice, here's a quick once over of how to use the app. To start a new movie in the app, you click the new movie button right there and you tap here to add some pictures. So in the top right, I'm just going to tap right there and it will activate your camera. If it's the first time you're using it, it will ask, can I use your camera? And you, you say yes. So angle your phone down so it's more or less looking at the quarter that you have set up. Here we go, get it steady and just going to move it over to the left. And then I'm going to, uh, let's get it so it's just black right here. Uh, get all the stuff out of it. There we go. Click when there's nothing in screen. Then click again. Keep clicking. One thing to notice is that I'm very slowly moving it across the screen. This might even be a little bit too quick because I, what I want to have happen is I want it to take two seconds for it to t go across the screen. And that means 20 photos for it to go about 10 inches, which is not very far. So it's just like slow incremental steps. And you can see in the bottom right, there's a counter of how many photos. So we're 10 frames in, so it should be about halfway across the screen, which it is. So let's just zoom through these last few. Once you finish doing all of that, in the top left, you hit the back uh, arrow, it says, please wait, and then you can play it. When you play it, it's going to be playing at the wrong speed. So you want to hit the settings, and that's in the middle right. Let's hit play to end that. And in the middle right, you hit settings, and then you move it from 5 FPS, so frames per second, to 10 frames per second. So there we go. And now it will go twice as fast, and it will do the whole sequence in two seconds. Looks pretty good. Once you're done, once you're feeling good about it, you hit the uh, back button in the top left, and then it will give you a little thumbnail of it that says my stop motion movie. And you can export it out right here. You have just made your first stop motion movie. Good job. Now let's get back to the main piece we're making. 